have two days beginning today to convince MPs four commissioners are unfit to hold office. The hour of reckoning for four electoral commissioners is, is finally here. The petition is seeking the House of Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission Vice Chairperson Juliana Cherera and three other commissioners who rejected the August 9th presidential election. Onubo Osoro, are they unfit to hold office? <laughs> I wouldn't say that uh, yes or no, because number one, I'm withheld from discussing much because um, I happen to sit in the committee that they'll be appearing, uh, uh, you know, before. I sit in the jailer committee in the National Assembly. And um, from the leadership position as a majority whip, I may be very careful with my choice of words because uh, I do not want somebody to uh, make a presumption that is a government petition. But what I would say is that every Kenyan has a right to petition uh, Parliament for whatever matter that is of public interest. I am aware that there is a petition uh, that uh, was presented before the National Assembly, but it will follow the due process. There are grounds for removal of any commissioner from office, and that is enshrined, I think, in Article 251 of the uh, Article 251 of the uh, Constitution of Kenya, and of course, one of which being uh, uh, gross misconduct. It is part of the grounds that I've seen in the petition because I've gone through the petition, but the process is not as easy as ABC. Like they will appear before the uh, National Assembly because the petition must be you know, addressed by the National Assembly. That is the law, that is the Constitution. Uh, we'll hear the petitioner today, and tomorrow we'll hear their defense, the, the four, uh, or, or, you know, commissioner's defense. We'll, of course, later uh, retreat for our report writing. The report will be tabled before the National Assembly. It could be, it may be in support of the petition or against the petition with recommendations. If it's in support of their removal, I mean, again, the commissioners will have a chance, you know, to rescind it again in the floor of the house. Of course, we'll table it the, uh, before the plenary. Uh, the members of parliament may adapt it as it is or reject it. But if they adapt it and it proposes removal, then again, there's another further step. I think again in that, that very article 251. Now it goes again to the president. The report, the recommendation are tabled before the given to the president. The president will set up a tribunal. Now this tribunal is not just any other tribunal. You know, the the tribunal will be chaired by a person who is a serving uh, judge of a superior court or a person who fits within that, uh, the qualification of a superior court, with other two members, two, uh, more than two members, who qualify to be the high court judges. So it, it is not something that is, there is a, there is a whole lot process yeah. that uh, will offer uh, these commissioners a hearing space as uh, provided for under Article 50. Yeah. They'll be heard, they have a right to be heard, they have a right to be presented by advocates. So it is not something that you can say that, you know, they are not, un they are not fit, they are unfit. Somebody feels they're unfit. Yeah. The committee may feel otherwise. If the committee feel, supports what somebody feels, yeah. the plenary may feel otherwise. Okay. The tribunal may feel otherwise, and the president may also feel otherwise. So they are, they, they, it's, it's, a, it's a process. It's a long process. But from where I sit, yeah. I think they need to be given a right to be heard. Okay. And I think that is what we... Uh, I see how careful you are with that because mostly because of your, your sitting <laughs> day luck. So it's, it's a, we will understand that.